uh, a play with the lights. This uh, well, today today is September the fifth, two thousand twenty-three. I worked all night long. I have to confess myself. It's five thirty in the morning, and you know I said to myself, if I had to go to the police station, I probably beat the fuck out of somebody. I would just have to. I would just have to. Do you know how many nights I have gone without a sleep? No. It's going to be interesting video. Uh, this is about nights. This is about fucking up somebody 51 years. And uh, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a, I'm in a good humor. Um, I was just thinking about a lot of things. Few of which apply to the latest uh, incidents that does not allow me to walk out, do exercise, have a normal life, go apply for the job. Uh, more important than anything, I think that within the two days, that's what I need for the complaint to be finished. And I'm being bombarded by the police from everywhere, from all walks of life, basically. Inside the house, just as much as outside of the house. Uh, that's why I said that. Uh, it probably started in a very attractive way for a lot of psychiatrists, psychologists. And I like that. I always like to give doubt. Um, because it gets more interesting, this stuff. But in this case, there is no, no hope, not for the police, not for the psychiatrists anymore. Uh, this is just needs to be done. And this is just one more video closer to those two days that I need to have. Uh, it's also a warning to Joe Biden. Um, don't don't play with the Slovenian police. Uh, I was I was clear about that stuff. Um, if you're going to make complications, I'm going to fuck your life up. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult for you. You understand? Because there'll be no bridge. There'll be no this, no that. It's not there. There will be no bridge. That's for one thing. But I'll stalk you for as far as long as it gets to destroy you. You understand? So when it comes to Slovenian police and stuff like this, Slovenian police is not going to be investigating that. I know that you were obsessed with the idea to push forward Slovenian police. Uh, I was giving myself a thoughts about psychiatric nurse Andrea Jeric, who is seated here exactly next to me inside of this kitchen. It was a police officer. Uh, this nurse was with her colleagues, and she stated to the police officers, she stated to me that police should have had resolved this a really long time ago. If they aren't going to resolve this stuff, uh, they would resolve this stuff. Uh, and they were very naughty in a naughty way. She suggested when I asked her how this and that, She intimidated. Um, she didn't say anything. She didn't exclaim. She didn't. She didn't make a statement about it. Uh, but she kind of indicated the opposite way. In other words, if they wouldn't lock me up, they would come from psychiatric hospital to Dana to, uh, you know ridiculing to hospitalize me again. Um, I would love to think different. The fact of the matter is I can't afford myself to think any different. Andrea Jeric is listed as good to go to the jail. Uh, I will not allow it doesn't matter what the attempts were, what, what's, who wanted what, how wanted what. This video is going to be exactly about, you already got a lot of taste about what this video is going to be about. Uh, Slovenian state trying desperately to wash its hands uh, with additional crime embedding people 
desperately embedding people in it to uh, justify basically 51 years of genocide. This is not a scandal. This is about genocide. This isn't about scandal. So I told you already, I already said it, in 2010 was your last chance I started to spoke about speak about MK Ultra, uh, and you started to exercise on me through domestic violence, uh, everything possible on the instruments, increase torture under MK Ultra, everything to basically destroy me, to get me inside a psychiatric hospital. You try to compel me into the worst, basically to take my own life. You took no responsibility for it, for everything you have done after so many years of what you have done. Uh, and then it was a different kind of scenario that popped up that it's going to be people like the people I'm going to talk about today right now. They're going to be resolving through the very, very funny issues. Uh, gaslighting. Is Lujivanya in Serbo-Croat language? driving somebody crazy at this problem. This is difficult to solve problem. You know, it's like I make the fucking problem. I didn't make the fucking problem, you did. When I think about Tanya Fayon, which is Minister for Foreign Affairs, or Dominika schwartz Pieper. The Minister for Interior Affairs. When I think about these two ladies saying to me inside of this kitchen after so many restless, sleepless nights, being so tormented, tortured, and driven insane, literally, with these issues they use during MK Ultra, on how they're gonna wake up in the morning and see basically whether I did anything or not, and this and that. You know, when I think about this kind of stuff, like I said earlier, at the beginning of this video, um, and that's why I also issued a warning to Joe Biden. Um, I, I don't want to have anything to do with the Slovenian police. I want police from abroad to have this genocide investigated uh, and have Slovenian police follow the procedures required, basically compliance, work with the compliance to, if it's necessary, anything to investigate about this stuff. This is ridiculous uh, to complete this. I mean, it's ridiculous because why would I allow something like this when, you know, it's like I would feed a dunk, literally. Uh, you know, basically bag a criminal, basically have somebody else to work with a criminal, basically get a criminal, literally, assistance so the motherfucker would confess itself to something so atrocious. Basically, that's what Joe Biden wants. That's what Slovenia is like. It's like, we're not going to give this out no matter what. I mean, this is just like, it's it's a hard thing to do. Uh, too hard to give out the truth about Slovenia. What Slovenia was during Yugoslavia and upon its independence. I'm not giving this kind of stuff away. I'm not. I'm not here to assist somebody who did so much evil to me. It's out of consideration. You have to understand. My work with Slovenian police, um, as far as it goes, it's got to be, it's going to be strictly on business. You ask for this, you got this. You want that, you got that. In return, through the international authorities, I will be inquiring about this stuff. And if it's going to be somebody who's going to have a problem with me from abroad, whatever, about my questions, about my inquiries, about how I do the stuff, or will not have a capacity to relate my problems, 
my issues, my concerns to authorities here in Slovenia. I'm going to step on his ass. You understand me what I'm trying to say? I'm not here to serve you in absolutely any way. And right now, I'm in not a good situation. I'm in a bad situation. I need to finish this stuff. Slovenian police is making these things very difficult for me. And it's why I also blame you, Joe Biden, for more and more and more and more problems in which you have embedded yourself. You cooperated, you collaborated, you signed the agreement with the Slovenian police about additional stuff, additional stuff, additional stuff, um, which was interpreted to me as a form of assistance. Now I stated a really magic word that uh, you could probably feel yesterday at Shmarieshka to Plitza. Um, I uh, I don't. I'm not interested in 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 uh, you know. In buying, you know, in, in handshaking, in, in, in buying lies, basically. Uh, you know, it's very, very difficult to, 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 for me to explain myself to the degree of abuse. Somebody does stuff like, like this to you and you start to interpret it to you, to you this stuff like a form of assistance. This is very, very difficult stuff. The one who did this stuff was a Slovenian police. The one who did this stuff are a force of foreign politicians. And the more that I mention foreign politicians, the more obviously uh, power for abuse I am giving the Slovenian police. And this is what Joe Biden was since my, I don't know, maybe year, I have no idea, since I traveled to Moscow, that I know of, would travel to Moscow, this probably goes to, what is it, maybe age two, three, I don't know. Maybe H2. So, I like this video I'm about to release because it's, it's, it's a factor that I should have and have not spoken about properly a fair to one is basically gaslighting uh, the incident of the yesterday was related to another incident of today. Uh, basically, just as I was told, you know, Bear with me, folks. This is a very difficult uh, video, extremely difficult video to make. Uh, it's a nerve-wracking video, and the police have designed this kind of stuff for me to have extra pounds glued to my stomach. This is basically how they, they tumble me. This is how they dig the grave for me for no less than 51 years. I don't know how much do you remember. But I told you when I was a baby, when it all started, it was a psychologist, psychiatrist here for Novo Mist, and not only one, females, ladies, who stated to me, the only thing we have for the stress that you endure in Belgrade, where I was delivered since I was six months old for MK Ultra sessions, uh, for human experimentation, for growth, for play with a growth hormone, for play with the retardation of the growth hormone, um, literally stalling development of the body. Um, he stated, she, they stated to me, this lady stated to me, there are only two treatments, there are only two kinds of treatments that we have. One is what your mom can give you, are going to be chocolates, it's going to be food that you can, after this killer sessions, that they would totally suck dry dry you completely 
your brain stress you like a baby uh, you can eat yourself with a lot of food that will retard your brain basically that will just like somebody from the French Foreign Legion stated to me give you a temporary lobotomy uh, it slows down the stress it relaxes you and then there is that second option we have and those are the antidepressants injections at the time they had um, which is a road to death this is what normal master psychology psychiatrist told me when i was probably maybe three years old they started to teach me about this stuff that there is going to be very difficult to survive as to children they would involve in this stuff uh, the way it would simply if they would volunteer to go through the same i did uh apparently i was really really worried a lot i was really an icon i was really idle to many people as a child uh, i rather would not be because i think these people are crazy insane not good people at all but i have the children from serbia wanted to compete with me through mk ultra and would suffer the worst uh, obesity would explode uh bad stuff would happen and afterwards at age 15 vladimir putin personally even blamed me for it then i was even guilty basically of that kind of stuff after i survived everything in moscow and belgrade then i was even guilty of causing problems to serbian kids in slovenia um anyhow Don't see why. Oh. This is on tonight. I went to visit my father. Uh, the time is 953. September the 4th, 2023. My father, I don't know what he was doing. He was busy doing something else. Uh, there's some priest talking about. And it's quite loud. Indeed. But it's only has, I don't know, 27. And I kind of found this loud. And the idea I had was basically to play my father what I regularly do, some fishing videos on the computer, on a laptop, what appeared to him whenever he was in the highest the hospice, uh, whenever he was thrown inside of this home for elderly people, on behalf of police, and it would be staff members and the other staff members who would come and uh, pretty much do exactly what, what I'm trying to do. Make his life as easy as possible. Uh, if he is interested, but if he is not interested like this, that I don't know what he was doing, playing with himself or whatever, uh, then I just decided I would depart, you know. Uh, and I did. I departed. I left. It's also something I was told it's going to be the case that it would be if they would meet me on some other location. Interesting that when I walked out of the home and in on the home and it's been there for quite time is sitting there 
it's always always seated there and they all they were always giving apple juice to to the residents at this home for elderly uh i recall the words from psychiatrist peter Gops saying to me if you're gonna if you're gonna forget anything that's gonna help you out you must go and buy yourself a juice a juice a juice a juice but he was the one who would take me to a store to the hofer store and he demanded for me to buy this juice from rio rio de oro uh it's slovenian juice actually slovenian made but it's got all the best ingredients inside uh including the all kinds of stuff nasty really nasty stuff uh coloring all kinds of stuff that you would not want to have anything to do with it god forbid it's got it's a water apple fructose corn syrup um Acids, antioxidants, uh, colors, artificial colors inside, all kinds of shit is inside. And there's only 15% of the juice. Everything else is sugar. Uh, something that Home for Elderly People claimed me, administration claimed me, they have even caught psychiatrist Peter Kapsch brainwashing me on how i have to purchase this kind of juice at the store for which maybe just to excuse their bullshit because why the hell would you otherwise put put place this stuff over there uh, and then we go again into this criminal intrigues uh you know in other words my wasting time since 2010 is 13 years of life and in this 13 years of life, we continue to do like rat race, like running in a circle, uh, indefinite circle of death, basically. Playing literally with and employing good number of people, police station, all the stuff, with what I think is some money from abroad that they get, because I don't know why they would. And Kirka Pharmaceutical even exists, and a Renault company even exists, if not for the British and for the other Western Europeans that invested money, as they claim, literally through this case. Um, this stuff is not good. I didn't get any receipt for this stuff. Uh, I got the change back, but I never got a receipt. And uh, as I go along this video, I am just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna do this stuff here. Uh, then what I'm gonna this is like a this is like a damn factory. This whole thing, man. I got uh, I got a really funny. Okay. I got a really funny feeling about all this stuff, folks, because what I'm doing is just, uh, it's like a factory boy. It's like my, like Mount Everest of crime that I process. Um, and really, I don't get paid anything. Uh, basically, it's like something like you would say to me, uh, be happy that you are alive basically like in that sense that's why i said that uh, you know for many reasons i stated earlier at the beginning of this video that i am i'm extremely unhappy with the with the slovenian police 
extremely. You don't, you don't, you don't imagine how unhappy I am about these people. Uh, this is going to play a very, very important role, actually. This stuff is going to play extremely, extremely important role. As I go along the video, you're going to see how important role this is going to play. I wouldn't be stressing you this stuff uh, if If it wasn't important, if it didn't have any importance, but it does have importance. I don't think anybody would want to lose 51 years of life, uh, be two days away from completion of, so he could launch a complaint to the foreign police departments, organization and so on, and then have somebody digging in his ass 24 seven, all crazy, all desperate, basically to drive him crazy insane so that he could, have some kind of problem produced that it would turn one against him and this and that. I don't think any one of you could would want to have to be stalked with the police inside of your home, outside of your home, wherever the hell you would go, uh, stalked on every millimeter, every inch of the way with a final goal, basically to somebody to fuck you, to screw you, to destroy you indefinitely. That's why I said when it comes to the people like this, like Joe Biden and stuff like that, don't. If you are from whatever law enforcement agency, know that Joe Biden has nothing with this case other than what I stated. He is deserved only for one thing, and that's for the problems, crime against me. That's all there is to it. So this is a nice news that I publish right now. And it's the news that actually relates to the news now we can do it like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not do this properly. Oh, we're going to repeat this stuff here. It relates to the news that you see right there. The father who was so busy uh, that did not have time to talk to me was busy with the reason. He is complying with absolutely everything. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch made up his mind about needs to be done to fuck me, basically, to screw me up. Uh, whenever I would be, as I was told, needed somewhere else, it would be a jerking off play like this, being too busy or nasty or whatever, so that I would go away. And frustrated, maybe wondering some store where they would set me up with the problems here. So understand that everything I have stated it does relate to this video. It does make sense. And it's actually now, it's actually now that what we're going to do, we're also going to change the stuff here like this. I'm going to change the settings and I'll make this public like this. All right, I think I did deserve. Um, I think I did deserve a right to do something like this. It's going to allow me to do this stuff. Okay.
strange not, maybe not. The incident, you see the car blinking crazy over there with those lights and all that. Uh, the, the incident of a few hours earlier, last night, it's now already September the 5th, 2023. And what you see is what took in a very, very early morning hours in Shmarieta. Not too far from here, anyways. I don't know, 10 kilometers from here or something, but I went for hiking just, I'm not going to say the day earlier, because for me, it's still the same fucking day. It's a little bit crazy to work around the clock, do a lot of work, don't get paid, and have your enemies actually checking in the morning to see just how, manage, how much damage they have managed to cause, whether they managed to push you with a gaslighting, stalking, chasing, attacks. Over the edge, yeah, have you already produced some kind of statement, something that they can be used against you, that kind of stuff. That's fucked up. And that's exactly what Joe Biden is doing. So I don't appreciate this guy. I don't like him. Uh, I don't understand anything about the stuff they have spoken to me about. Everything I had to say was in 2010. Um... People have a lot of ideas involving this stuff. They want to tell me so many things. They would do it different or whatever they would do. But the thing about it is, I didn't have a chance. You didn't allow me really to tell you what I want to do with you. You didn't understand anything about what the hell went on, did you? You did not. Oh, I feel, but yeah, you know, the video I did right now, I can probably have this published. Um, aha, okay, this this works for me. Oh, there you go. We can do that stuff too, like this. So we'll do this stuff. Okay, so now we have both videos nicely published, and it's really nice. I like that. Cool. Um. I am going to start the video right here. Uh, please bear with me. It's very difficult video to do. It's going to take probably three hours for me to get through this video. Yo, know, this is a psychiatrist, or is a psychologist? It doesn't, doesn't fucking matter. Uh, he's got more on his conscience than, when it comes to this case, than any psychiatrist in Slovenia. This criminal was involved since since I was a baby. Before he went to the school for whatever he went, he had to the college. He was involved. with his mother, with uh, from what I remember, he's got two more in his family. He's got, I think, also, I don't know, a good looking sister or something like this. I don't. Uh, 
problems that I, I, I got myself into. And a brother from Ljubljana. I think his mom was blonde, something like this. Um, he works, he's a director of psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Poli. Uh, it's the reason why I came here to this page is this expression here is called Izlojivanya. In English, it's called guest lighting. Guest lighting. It's about the mental violence within which information are manipulated from the side of attacker toward the victim to degree to the level that a victim begins to be suspicious about his memories, observations, reality perception, and so on. I luckily never did. Uh, it says right there, even becomes suspicious about his mental health. Yeah, this individual tried with the psychiatric Ljubljana police staff, and more than anybody's police, so any justice system to do just about anything possible. Nobody in this world had what this individual had, what, what Slovenia had. There was nowhere recorded. No system in the world ever had anything like this in the world that would combine, that would have a, such a degree of, I, mean, I don't, I, oh, this is not oppression, this is not, I, this is like a soft word, oppression or repression, and, you know, genocide is just genocide, it's whichever way you, you turned, its goal is to murder, to exterminate, that's all there is to it, and the political systems, do these things. They did, and they do these things. It rather comes a bit strange that stuff like this is happening inside of Europe. It's actually happening within this great, great, great uh, Western hemisphere that you would find people that would literally support this kind of stuff, uh, contrary to beliefs that countries are publicly displaying. But it's happening. The stuff like this is happening. Uh, for me, gaslighting was expo extremely important uh, expression word I have used, and uh, the next thing I'm going to have to is going to be already when I prepared myself here. I'm going to be talking about this trash beans very. In a little bit and this is our house right there but before I do this if I go back to guest lighting we're gonna start with what I prepared already I'm gonna burn this video it's gonna be below in one piece original piece with four other pieces which I sampled uh, I had a difficulty to do this uh, because of everything I possibly could have done to assist this individual who even that threatened me yesterday, uh, according to MK Ultra. however, I have to say this, a scenario. So I camouflage this video best of my abilities and make one as pleasant to see, or I should say clean also, as much as possible, yeah? So I'm going to start here, and my father was too busy, and so I left uh, a little earlier, in a day, in the morning hours, as I stated, and you were already able to see the video about it, about Mariaska Toplice. However, I had another incident when I walked down the road. Uh, and and what exactly happened with this incident when I walked down the road? Let's see exactly what happened with this incident. I, uh, I will give you a good taste about uh, precisely what exactly happened, okay? That's how I said, I don't... For those two days, for the sake of those two days of work, 
Actually, I did not do the whole thing I because I know that this was a provocation. For me to finish this, uh, I will restrain myself from requesting a police assistance, Slovenian police assistance, even that they are extremely, extremely aggressive, extremely. Uh, but let me do the whole extremely, thing. Extremely, I would say. Um, They are bothered. It's it's difficult. It's very very difficult. Um, as I stated earlier, psychiatric hospital in Danapolia appears to me gave them the ultimatum to solve this issue. This guy would be what uh, the one who would... what this nurse. Uh, yet it stated to me, to me under MK Ultra, and logically it applied to me, is what she claimed to me, it's something that they shouldn't be doing anymore, that it's the last chance they're going to give it to the police, but this chance was washed away. They were apologizing to me from Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Poli, but how funny when they haven't done absolutely anything about it. During MK Ultra, you know, apology from MK Ultra. It's like I'm going to demonstrate you what that is. Apologies and nice and all that. Look, at the time is 15 minutes to 0, 100 in the morning, September 4. Today we are the fifth, and I am walking toward this, just in this direction. When I notice these lights, I'm holding the camera really far away. I see the lights. What do you see right there? What, you know, what that looks like, that looks like a police vehicle. Uh, and you see the car behind right there with the lights flashing, don't you? Yeah? With lights flashing. Uh, it could be also ambulance vehicles. You would feel like this if you would, you would have a police stalking you, whatever the hell you go, with lights straight in the face. Uh, if you would hear all the time, like all the fucking time, all the time you would hear ambulance vehicles, police vehicles, uh, right across the river, basically, all day fucking long since my return from Poland, you would also feel like I do. Uh, this is about feeling how I do. This is what I was taught, and I am bombarded with what you see here. These are very strange hours. And there was plenty of this kind of vehicles all of a sudden have found itself here in this place, in this quite a remote place, uh, wandering around at this late hour, but not too damn early hour when it, you would be, I don't know, yeah, you could be distributing and stuff, but, you know, uh, usually deliveries are done at around, I don't know, maybe three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, but this one is really, this is just 15 minutes to one o'clock in the morning. Uh, and look at it, look, look about something else I want you to pay attention to. What do you see here? I am gonna stop here. What do you see from here? What do you see? You see the car flashing, and you see exactly what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch has stated to me. If it's going to be a psychiatric hospital, hospitalization again. You know, they were making fun, ridiculing, suffering. Terror they did. They, they ridicule. They, this, these are a special kind of funny people. They have a special kind of humor. It's, it's a very, very unique humor. That's why, you know, that's why I started the video like this. That's why. What do you see behind this? Psychiatrist Peter Kopchev stated me. What you see right there? It started in 2012. That's 11 years ago, police brainwashed. Uh, started to brainwash 11 years ago on this issue here. More than 100 people. More than 100 people was involved in exactly what you see here this thing here and this thing that you see right here there was probably two or three intervention vehicles police vehicles that whenever they would have me at this bar 
that would come and terrorize me what would happen if you would call the police and this kind of stuff. It started 11 years ago. It ended in 2020. Uh, it basically went on for no less than eight years, brainwash about what you see right there. Eight years about what you see right there. You see those lights blinking and it's gonna be parked right there. You're gonna see it in the school. It's gonna be blinking, blinking, blinking. And psychiatrist Peter Kopp said to me, what, what do you see right there? He had cars already parked before. He said, what do you see right there? So you see the car that has lights flashing, it's got a stop lights turned on. Yeah, he's on a crosswalk, but that I don't give a damn. That's what this owner of the car uh, supposedly worried about, that he was going to get a penalty for I don't know how much because of this stuff. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, what do you see right there, he stated? But there's something else right there that you see. What you might see or you might not see, there is like an ambulance vehicle sign aboard. You see it right there, right behind it? It's parked in a such a way that when I would be approaching, not only the vehicle that you have seen here just passed by, this vehicle was not here by coincidence, but so that I would see this sign here that you see this, you see this here? As I'm approaching, so I couldn't help myself but to take this beautiful shot, beautifully video you go, this stuff, start to document diligently, knowing about what the fuck went on, yeah? So this was at one o'clock in the morning, this stuff. I'm gonna get to this stuff. And then my father later on was really busy, as you were able to see, and he gave me the reason to actually go, uh, elsewhere to do some other stuff and so the police did have an another individual extremely violent individual who was involved in this stuff who did few moves according to mk ultra that would stress me out and would definitely produce uh the desired income uh, this man was always being employed by the, this company, Hofer, from what I understand. Uh, shit, this is something I haven't write about. At least it's what he stated me. Uh, if it's true, God knows, man. God knows what the truth is. This is one of the worst people that was involved in MK Ultra. He was, as, I don't want to even say to you what I sworn to myself, I'm going to do with this guy when I get a hold of him, all right? And so he did a few moves today in a Hofer store so that I could recall the whole MK Ultra experience, which he also built for about 10 years at least. They at least have built this one, this shit here that happened. At least 10 years is what they were doing, this kind of stuff. So that this is what he playing. So we're going to do this. Now. You see, I promised you, I told you it's going to be more interesting. It's going to get more interesting. It's going to be, it's going to be jollier, this stuff. It's going to get really interesting. Yeah? So father was too busy. So I went to this local store here. It's called Hofer. Uh, and I was going to really, after I observed this Jews here, uh, not here, at the home for elderly people, and I know it's also the season for the apples, folks, if you pay attention to it. Uh, yesterday, it, they really helped me out. So they figure out that I will go for this stuff one way or the other. And Juice was right there. And Juice oftentimes was there at the same place, at the same location, whenever we would walk to Father in that same hallway as you walk. Unfortunately, I did fail to make observation with a camera about the juice that was a stupid thing to do i did not even because i never buy the juice you know uh it's, i did pay attention to it but you know 
Th those are already very important details. Anyhow, according to what I stated, the proofs about the Jews, about the stuff like this, this stuff is being already done because this isn't about what I said or not. It's about the people that are employed at this home for elderly people. Uh, whether they're going to find the excuse for themselves or not, whatever. It's about other issues, yeah. So, as well as mine, I said, I go and I'm going to buy myself these jewels. I'm going to have something to drink. I keep trying this stuff. Um, when I said to you a little earlier, when I said to you, uh, when I mentioned to you about this stuff, you know, about... Uh, there's two days, you know, that's two days that separates me. I don't know, what is this here? Is it from, from, from last night, from today? Um, it's not good, folks. You know, the liver, the kidney, that kind of stuff. Uh, they did a lot of stuff to me that in MK Ultra. And they did procrastinate. I'm going to be struggling for life, literally. This is, yeah, this is from September 4th. It doesn't matter, that's the point. It doesn't matter how much you drink. It doesn't matter what you... Uh, it, it's always the same thing. I don't know what this is. I have forgotten to uh, video record. It's not good. The color is no good. It's been like this already since... Uh, December, last year. It's been like this already on a daily basis uh it's it's tough on me it's it's not easy on me and this is just the way it is it's not easy on me it's tough uh the days are tough to get up uh i have to use a special tactics uh to get my kidneys going and i have to use a special tactics to keep the cancer low the special tactics they are just the tactics that they teach me to use the in MK Ultra. It's basically you would take something sweet first uh, and then drink a lot of water so that you would get your kidneys and system basically function. Uh, and all kinds of other tactics that would help you basically to stay afloat, to be alive, which something they have procrastinated I would have been already, according to MK Ultra, gone but two years ago. I wouldn't even exist anymore with the problems I had. I was very successful. I managed to overcome lymphoma in my left arm. Uh, I'm doing this stuff with with the teeth that is has got a giant hole. Um, really important too. Um, that's actually goes through the roots and it's causing all kinds of problems they told me and this is what they were playing with uh, i have to put photos of another two they destroy me upon just prior to return to slovenia in 2006 that's going to be impressive too on display yeah i am going to do this as next and also video record what i have inside of my teeth so you're going to see what kind of stuff these people did um, I know they. I know they had. You know, I know you had a lot of prerequisites, a lot of uh, benefits, a lot of uh, stuff from really fucking Alice of Wonderland, something out of fucking Alice psychiatric book that you would title like Alice Wonderland or something like this. It's what you can do to the human being, or whatever, through the laws, uh, corruption, I should say. But trust me, you don't have any more of that stuff. Uh, but, you know, I know that this makes you even more desperate because you already know that stuff. Uh, a foot that is not walkable, left foot with a really severe injury that did to me, I managed to overcome that too. Uh, I figured out a whole bunch of things that helped me to survive, basically something that... I doubt I would be able, capable to go on with, to be honest with you, because the problems that I encountered, uh, that these problems have developed to, prevented me literally from walking. That's how bad it was. I couldn't even walk. 
The spine problem was a tremendous issue, but I found a way around every problem. I found the ways through what they were playing with during MK Ultra and use best of my abilities, that knowledge and other knowledge, whatever knowledge to get to get past that stuff, to somehow survive. Uh, the lights that you see right there, however, this issue here, this this kind of stuff, which last night ended with the death threats and so on. This shit didn't start, you know, this stuff didn't start with, with this stuff here. Uh, this is when I left my father today, when I left from the father, and it's always the same thing. Whenever they want you to, to make, bewilder you, crazy you, crazy you, uh, gaslight you, whatever you want to say this, you, you pretty much, you will just find yourself in front of, you know, what you see right there. This here that MK Ultra was a frequent side. thing, and as you see, as I posted the video, is already here waiting. This is coming out of the home for elderly people. This is... This, this is, is a very, very is. frequent... Uh, Still, this is the way it is. Based on my visitations, uh, hours and so on, it, it just happens quite a lot. All right, I know this is home for elderly people, uh, but you know when Seems all these like, uh, drivers were involved, not even sure. hospital, maybe the driver uh, was inside. Staff. Uh, oh, look at that! Probably That's a lights. light fixture that was also always used to flash like this. Permanent problem. This always was the light that worked like this since well, psychiatry since from forever. I don't know why, but this light here, they always had one work like this. At the home for elderly people, yeah. Whenever I would be brought to this place, they would it over with this light outside that would be blinking, uh, bulb, whatever you want to say. This because I'm trying to bring you a little bit closer to 2012. When this incident, why did you would have a light like Marietta, this? Marietta, you know, Marietta incident. Oh, there is a there is a <laughs> ambulance vehicle departing. Uh, this this is truly was waiting on me for me to come and make his show basically. Yeah, they do that. But uh, this this is this is everywhere. This shit stuff is like. Oh, I got, I can't. So I basically, home. this shit is, this is how it is here the, with an arc. What's going on? This is what you hear. So this this stuff here, this is a motorbike. This is a very, very loud motorbike. Anywhere in the house you would go, hear this motorbike. There are three motorbikes like this behind the house. And this kind of stuff, if you want to go sleep, whatever. You're gonna hear this shit if you go sleep during the day. Uh, I'm not gonna say the whole house is gonna be shaking or something like this, uh, but you have no idea what I was promised uh, in bullets inside of the street here. Uh, literally with a boyfriend from the young lady, burger lady. Uh, and other people in the street with these loud motorbikes, how I should confront them. Uh, it all started with these trash beans. The trash beans are positioned right here behind the kitchen. I'm, they're right here behind me. Right inside here, uh, it's my table where I'm video recording this stuff, and this is here. And it's the neighbors that come here and have used what you see right there. It, best of their advantage, slamming, banging bottles, banging the stuff, throwing the trash inside, so to be thrown inside as loud as possible. Stuff that, 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 that went on here, not only with the neighbors that would do this stuff, that this was deliberately positioned here, uh, behind, the, behind the kitchen. Uh, this shit is heard all over the house.
when they come and they are throwing the bottles and stuff like this, they, they don't place the stuff inside. They are throwing it like you will fucking throw against the floor stuff. Uh, the trucks for the garbage that come to collect the garbage, they would even... Uh, they would even... With psychiatry, they would use the trucks and it would be peep, 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 and they would bring me drugged up out and I would have to witness them and they threatened me physically. This is the environment. This is my environment. This is what MK Ultra was. This is how this stuff was. This is the environment. This is basically how it goes. Basically, this is what this was about. So if I go back to this video here, uh, yeah, you can see I'm quite collected and calm, uh, probably calculated. I know what I'm talking about is what I'm trying to say. This is another hot hat who wanted to have... Uh, this kind of environment, gaslighting environment, this kind of environment with what I'm demonstrating here is nothing. Because most of the stuff I have not, I video recorded it. I did not even place it anywhere in the internet. If I tell you beginning the 2014, 2013, when they threw me inside a psychiatric hospital, wherever we would walk, whomever psychiatrist Peter Tosh would see. And if somehow he was not present during the walking or something, he in charge police take names down and would afterwards go and talk to the people, farming people, workers, whoever he would see anywhere, with a car, with a truck, with a tractor, whatever it would be, and would make agreement with them that during a certain time, they would transfer either whatever uh, gadget, whatever tool, uh, from one farm to some other place, or they would go and cut grass, or whatever or whatever they would do and have used that stuff with the farmers to interpretate me uh, events into a total bullshit. Now we go a little earlier into this definition about the guest lighting, which I pointed. That's why I started like this. Because I'm not going to say that most of you don't understand what I'm even talking about. Most of you do understand. Most of the people that I have as people who participated and know very well what I am talking about. But this is about the proofs, collecting the proofs, about the witnessing what took place. So that's why it's so important for me to explain exactly. This is going to help me out as we go along the way to point out other issues pertaining to the incident today, uh, in the early, actually yesterday, in the early morning hours, and then in the evening hours. Uh, how they keep you like this busy, how they keep you all the time uh, on toes, if you like, yeah? At home, uh, the play with the lights was enormous. At home, the play with the lights, the play with the lights at home was such, uh, I can with you. I did the video recordings, but uh, I, I um, the play with the lights at home was such that mother demanded basically a dark inside of the kitchen, um, inside the hallway. Uh, I probably have, I don't know, I have no idea. At least 50 bulbs blown up, bulbs, uh, inside of my room during the last, I don't know, since 2010, something like this. Uh, police would have literally make agreement with mother to deliver the bulbs that were about to go to hell they would have, which what they mentioned to me, have them changed. Some people that 
uh, kind of a strange stuff because they didn't appear in vaults, whatever. But supposedly there was people that they had the products maybe refurbished or whatever the case might be that would deliver that kind of stuff and change them. And the light, the bulbs with all the fucking time, it was all the time, which is bam, 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 one after another. It just became like a part of life, except that my wallet, uh, my pockets are not that deep that I could go and finance that kind of stuff. My mom did everything possible to fuck me by placing even covers over the bulbs uh, and had in a complete agreement with a company, Kirka Pharmaceutical, next door, neighbors here, uh, farmers around uh, the set that when she would go out there and under MK Ultra, she claimed me that if I would be any normal, I wouldn't even be using any fucking light. Uh, but this stuff was interesting because I noticed that whenever I, I, I sit at the table, it was sirens that went on, even inside here, inside of the kitchen, when I would go and eat. It would be, it would be ambulance, police. If I would sit out, it would be ambulance, police, neighbors. Sound from the Kirka Pharmaceutical that would totally remind of the one from, they play with the sound. I tell you about how they tortured it with the sound that that it was, that, that they torture with alarms at work in the US afterwards when they would deliver me back from Slovenia to the US and so on. And it's what was like equal to the sound of the hearing aid my father was using that was creating like crazy, crazy, crazy sounds. And it still do if you go to the home for elderly, uh, like today, for instance, like every fucking time almost like um, it's it's like this alarm, basically. I don't know if, if, if this would be the way to do it, uh, I think the residents, like I said, there's a lot of videos and stuff that I did not publish because if I'll publish all this stuff, uh, you know, I just rely on the stuff that is more important than the issues which I'm going to stress once I get through this stuff. But this is my environment, basically. This is the environment. My mother and police threatened me. If you would sit down see that uh, you see that light fixture it's got like a cover that prevents light from actually flashing uh, the way it should give the light to ambient uh, and now this is already a strong light that you can hear but I video recorded lights inside and here that my mother would take off or she would have police investigators take off or she would be using here Senichar, uh, Dushan, he would take them off. They were using people, mechanics, all kinds of people, neighbors, that would arrange lights according to, I'm not going to say taste of my mother, but what my mother had really enforced inside of this house was a total lunacy. Which, for which, however, she compensated with lawn, cutting and grass outside, long cutting, uh, trimming trees and that kind of stuff to look as productive as possible, which I am glad because it helps her with the fitness. I think that's good. It helps her with the stress and so on. Um, she will have to be responsible for the issues, however, which I have stated because of extremely criminal, malicious attitude toward me during MK Ultra, which has stated me uh, horrible things. I mean, about how I don't go to the garden uh, and if she would fall in depression, that she would be like me, that she wouldn't eat healthy food and go to the garden and stuff like that. She is as toxic as it gets. She's got a lot of explanation and uh, She's got a lot of stuff to respond based on the videos I video recorded. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't put the stuff like this anywhere on the internet. For cutting the grass, I was assaulted, literally. Uh, for cleaning the house, preparing the house, doing the stuff, I was assaulted, literally. Um, 
and this kind of stuff puts a trouble on your nerves and uh, you know when you just have to do your stuff and move on you are not going to waste your life on elderly person that is basically doing everything she possibly can to save what is my niece this Ushka Golob Weber you know they were in it to get me destroyed uh, so my niece could carry on and that kind of stuff um, domestic charges they filed against me in 2013 and so on lies basically on behalf of police state prosecutor which my niece and my sister both demanded from my parents to push forward against me i am going to stop here and we'll continue but the, the goal of this stuff here this lies that i stated to you i even had a police investigator who met me at the police station gesturing me that i would by any chance dare to uh take the cover off in the hallway here uh or light bulb changed and stuff like this which they placed in front of the mirror claimed me that i like to see myself too much in a mirror um and finally that if nothing else they will fuck me by uh, screwing this uh cover from the light picture which i took off uh, knowing what it did to me with uh, with my arm in respect to you see how nicely now here is bright stuff like that you see this stuff here yeah. now do you see this stuff here it's very bright because it's the wrong light it's not this what you see here this is not normal no this wasn't about my seeing myself in the mirror but my mom gets a pedicure she gets a, a, a hairstylist, comes at home and gives her a pedicure, cuts her nails, hair, and everything. It's done lady nicely, which I don't mind at all. I wish her the best. This is the thing. I never did mind anything. Good for her. But the fucking problem is when you have the lady, my, your mom, that doesn't want you to even cut yourself a hair. Go in front of the mirror and cut your fucking hair see yourself in a fucking mirror and if you try to do something like this she goes yells screams use police and mk ultra to torture and so on and do this kind of stuff you know those are the issues that uh, accumulated in me and uh, that's why i said a little bit earlier uh, i prefer to stay away from uh, slovenian police assistance yeah, this, is the, this is the kind of stuff why I, I as I'm going to talk to you about in this video, uh, individual have offered me yesterday a hand. He wanted to handshake me. He had a scenario that he's going to do this stuff for Mariushka to please for me because so that he could help me out and so on and all kinds of stuff like this. Um, just like an individual here today at this Hofer store the security officer he had his scenarios uh about how i have to be careful uh about that if i'm gonna post this stuff on the internet uh that he will uh, that he's gonna they negotiated for other jobs all kinds of issues like this and you know uh this is the thing about this stuff. How can I explain? Um, I did already at the beginning of this video. You're going to continue with the light, basically. This is what it looks like.
So, you know, I have properly established that uh, it's just a one line. This shit here, to make myself clear, this is done remotely, this stuff. This is not done by the light. You were able to see the light barely started. And once it started, it was solid. Well, no, the light barely started and it flashed uh, a little bit and it works like a like zzz, like immaculate, like completely like you can trust me. Nothing. The light when I go cook, when I do the stuff, when I did that's true. When I go and I start to cook, do my stuff, this lights go completely crazy and start to flash and back and forth. If I take the camera and my hands start to video record, the light is fucking gone. But this issue, remember when I told you about the light detectors, about the motion detectors, which trigger the light, a strobe, wherever you want to say this, light bulb below, the police played with them. They came to realize that Positioning those at the entrance uh, is causing a, some kind of a short stick for which first uh, there is one, two, and then third light, and then four lights that go one by one that go out. But then there was some other stuff strange that happened. For this light, which they claimed it was a fan that is overheating uh they blame on a fan that it is a fan that is overheating the light whatever the bulb whatever it is and it goes bad and this and that uh, they were asking in front of me here the neighbors where they were here if they could go and play with uh it's called short stick whatever you want to say this uh electricity basically well, that there is something that I did not manage to record, but that all the neighbors will have to confirm, and another one we're going to have to confirm this stuff, and who was involved in it, was a nuclear facility, Kershko. Nuclear facility, Kershko, is located uh, in Brezhnev, uh, actually, excuse me, Kershko, uh, close, quite equation, Zagreb. And it had to do with electricity, with electric current. And I don't know how it all came about through that we were like the last house here in the village, something like this. And it would be, it would have something to do with the amperage that was extremely, extremely, extremely low. So fucking low that you would have actually uh, problems with bulbs and stuff like this that it would fluctuate so much that uh, unstable sometimes strong sometimes not strong if strong uh, certain gadgets would work normally if not strong uh, you could hear them uh, anywhere from a fridge which sometimes is producing a very funny noise too that's also the noise from the hearing aid kind of noise. That's what they were playing with. That's what they guaranteed me it's going to be like. Um, so the reason when I state that what I'm saying to you that they did, that they, they actually had, I don't know if I'm going to manage to demonstrate you something like this, but sometimes in this hospital so just so that i give you an idea about this what it sounds like this noise that they use inside of this inside of this hospital what what exactly that sounds like uh it it's it's totally wild it's totally wild this this stuff uh, let me see if i can maybe is this one here it's all it's almost all it. Uh, this was exclusively the day when there was no sound other than that uh, exactly the area where I go through where you have seen me at home for elderly people it's like almost always that you're gonna hear it's gonna be pee 
is going to be this kind of stuff. This is about just sliding this stuff. Uh, this is basically the way it works. Oh, a little earlier I stated what I do with my father sometimes if I don't, I entertain him. I try. If he's not too busy. Um, stuff here so for whatever the issue might be for whatever the issue might be you see that light right there did you see it it just didn't work today uh, when I wanted to see if it's gonna what what what's gonna be the result it didn't work but what is important for me to ask and because this is related to the last night's act, uh, incident uh, they played with this kind of issue with what you see here this is how it flashes when it's the properly so I think they this have is what bulbs. I think that they replace the bulb. They play with this kind of. This thing. is what. Uh, it was first time noticed. This is what. Way back, I estimate what you see right. This is what. Was goes as far as maybe twenty years ago. This is what. During MK Ultra, when I was with a police officer investigator, he this is was what? preparing himself a food, a stove right there. Uh, this is and what. This is what. This is what. Uh, it would be a psychiatrist. This is what cops with other police officers that would arrive. They had this is the what captive drugged up, and he acted like he was. This is afraid. what. And this shit repeated on two other occasions with this him. This is what. Uh, which on. This is what he started to look like. He's paranoid. Uh, he was not the only one. This is what others, and they acted like they didn't know what the hell went on. And this then is what he pointed out, like that's how they do the scenarios. This is what that it's flashing like the light, and he started to suggest that he was afraid this is what that somebody's gonna, uh, that somebody saw them and is gonna this come is what and so on and so forth. You know. Uh, now these people, this is what people know, are not afraid of anybody really. They were just afraid of. If this is what ever, they were afraid of someone taking some proofs, something like this. This is what uh, to you know document something contrary this is what, to their agreements with the people they have. This is uh, what this here was to significate. This is what just as what I demonstrated you the play with this lights. This is what and this. Uh, this is what crossing that you have seen a little earlier this, this is what right on the crossing with his flashers with his stop this is lights what, on uh, all this shit was incorporated this is what brainwash with the lights you have no idea when it comes to lights this is what what you see right there how much stuff they invested in this is what insane and all this stuff was to compensate this is what with an incident that took place yesterday with what you see right there. Okay, so now you're gonna see me walking towards the slide. It's also interesting enough, it's also to note that uh, this was not the only truck. It was too, too damn bad, like this, a van like that. Too damn bad I haven't re video recorded other that I did not take note of those other vehicles that were passing. Now, as you would already think, because the guy, the driver, the owner of the car, whom I have identified with his friend also, and with other kids that were there, uh, as you, maybe you would think that a dead threat would be like a 
something or anything. This this is what this would be about. Oh, you would be like totally, totally wrong. That doesn't compensate for shit, really. This man here, uh, who did get uh, jobs and all kinds of benefits to uh, to promote himself to get through the college and stuff like this. Um, he does have a brother, I think. He does have a brother. Oh, okay. I, I have to log this down that he does have a brother. Uh, his brother is older. As you would already think, okay, as you would already think, that look how good job I did at masking his license plate. I mean, I've done a really good job. Huh? As you would think already that his death threats and uh, physical threats and that kind of stuff, that, that would be like, the stuff uh, that did it for me, uh, this is just not what it is. This is not what it is. This is not what it is. Uh, now is coming a time when I will compensate. Now you understand why I started to be the way I started. Uh, Actually, I did not do the whole thing because I know that okay, this is a provocation. Uh, and I get really angry about uh, what exactly I get angry about. All right, let's see this stuff here. Yeah, it's going to be audio available. I am going to post the videos just like I stated. These people had an idea that, that Okay, so the man comes out, and I continue. You see, you see me walking. I Actually, uh, I did not do the whole thing because. And I, I walk. As you see here, you can see the time. The time is what? What's here? Forty-seven or whatever it is. Uh, then it's forty-eight. I already walk quite far away from there. And the man stepped out of the of the entrance. And I had the headphones. I listened to the music at that time. And I walk away. I'm listening to the music. Uh, but I saw him coming out of the restaurant, uh, ready to fight with me, according to Ankyosha scenario. It's a waitress that holds him uh, and brings him back inside of the restaurant, uh, inside of this bar, which rather was with a lot of people I saw inside, somehow through that uh, dark and through that uh, shadowed window, I saw there was a lot of people. Uh, they had some kind of party, whatever they had. These people are busy, oftentimes in evening hours, you know. So, okay, fine with me. I think they, the people also need something like this, a place where they can associate and so on. I'm not against this stuff. And I think it actually should be permitted for the people to uh, associate young people, meet, and so on. I think it's a really good thing. I think it's the thing to do. This is something I was warned about. It's going to be a problem for them, and so on. Well, you know, you got paid for it. Uh, so I don't know about the rest of it. Uh, the thing about it is that I started to think about this stuff that, 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 the way I did this stuff, individual during MK Ultra stated me, you're going to come exactly to this spot here that, that, that you will see from up front. 
and this is what I'm coming out and I'm going to start to yell at you and you're going to probably not immediately stop taking uh, the license number and so on and you will disappear probably exactly the same kind of stuff I experienced since I was a child and in which psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was involved in who loved violence who loved brutality he was an addict when it comes to the children violence I have spoken to you about this man was addicted to it he loved the intimidation he loved to see me crushed mentally emotionally during MKR trial he loved nothing more than that and this guy tried yesterday to do exactly the same thing having so many friends with him repeat exactly the same thing no I did not go anywhere I, I make sure that I video record that this is right under the slide the car the slides and so on one more time I flash this and I continue I go really I really go uh, yeah, but he comes out and yells at me and so on. I Actually, still, I, I did go. not do the whole thing because I know that... I still go. Uh, I still go. But I turn around and I said, you know what? I was just documenting this stuff. Like the stuff I had mentioned earlier about the environment I am in that I have not placed a lot of videos online yet. Uh... And as I make quite a few steps, I make another, I don't know, maybe 100 meters or something like this, uh, I started to boil myself. I turned around and I said, well, and I said to myself, is not going to go to, I will go ahead and I want the piece of it right now. I want to document, video record the restaurant where this is coming from, the pub, and we'll put this stuff online. That this is a provocation. For me, but this is important let me do the whole stuff, thing. Preliminary step to explain. According to MK Ultra, it's going to be parked here. For me, it's important preliminary step to point out because later on, uh, these kids, adults already, uh, come out and they claim that I went on to video record them and I don't know what the fuck I did while denying that the man came out and wanted to physically confront me, basically get into a physical fight with me. Here, and it's going to be a police. Um, when it comes to the physical fight, I had a headphones in my ears. Uh, I stopped recording. I looked at the uh, the restaurant where he was, where he made himself loud, opened the door with the waitress, exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. Uh, and I stood there. I was looking at him, uh, looking at him how this waitress is pulling him back inside of the restaurant, saying to him it's not worth it, and so on. And just proceeded my way walking my way and in fact I said to myself boy uh, I don't know what I said to myself I said boy uh, that's how I saw him I saw him as a boy I said boy uh, you better stay in there or something like this and I continued to walk okay now I started to recall the stuff about what went on and about this intimidation and so on and the only thing I did was I did 180 degree 360 degree turn it will come after you and so came back to this restaurant the guy apparently who had I this car really I saw good him movie about it, came about out and stuff then I make this a really really loud here this bar he came from so this bar out I wanted here. to make sure now I am really in front of the bar and this time not like the time before I am pointing the camera at the bar and I am using a timestamp camera to note properly what's going on i want to make i want to video record there is people inside in there there's lights and stuff like this also you can't see shit in there can you because the windows are shadowed are dark so you can't see there that's all i do and i walk away but i'm really angry at this point 
The point about this stuff is what I demonstrated you, nobody went there to record anybody. Yes, I did not go and record anybody. Well, the kids lied yesterday that I did. Um, this, and they also lied that he didn't walk out and that he wanted, that he indicated he would like to have a physical fight with me, confrontation with me. Those are two lies. Okay. Now, it's a time for a little hard talk. Here is how we're going to do this stuff. Uh, he demanded from me, that's quite interesting. He demanded, he was very sensitive to his license number. Uh, he demanded from me to absolutely remove any license number uh, letter, anything that could possibly appear on the internet literally by using a police officer inside of this house. And I'm talking about the guy that looks somewhat like this. Like I said, these people stepped on my nerve. It's uh, exactly where I sit. There was a police officer um, who somewhat looks like uh, what the hell is this guy, the, the, a funny guy from New York, I don't know, a comedian, Seinfeld, Sein, Seinfeld, uh, and like this, and, uh, okay, and we're going to do, we're going to write out here, actors, he was involved in MK Ultra. Uh must see nothing, no nothing good for you. Uh, all of these guys were involved in MK Ultra. Um, all of them were involved in MK Ultra. Well, now let me see if I can if I can get this other guy. I think it was George or whatever it is. George. No, George is George. No, 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 no. Oh, there it is. This guy, did you see this guy? Like an evil guy. This guy here, this police officer somewhat looked like this guy. He did have a glasses too, I think. Uh, I would say he did have. And he had a female companion on his uh, patrols, uh, on his intervention tours if you like this guy here did you see right there you see it more or less he looks like this, this is a slovenian guy um about he's quite tall actually maybe 185 something like this uh and uh he participated in mk ultra and eventually tutored me teach me on how to remove together you would be surprised crazy in my sound, even with a Tanya Fayon, with Dominika Schwartz Pippan. This is today Interior Minister uh, and Minister for External Affairs, demonstrating in their abilities how to move away uh, numbers from license tags uh, with what became a technology blurring, blur the license tag, uh, license plate number, uh, that kind of stuff, face so it can be seen and this and that. Uh, it was about that kind of stuff. Whenever the hell that came out, uh, it doesn't even matter because these people have also used uh, specially, special programs, which contrary to what I have found when I investigated the internet today for the first time in my life, and for sure, that can be seen from my internet service provider. It's true. Uh, they have used these programs to demonstrate others involved in MKUltra how they, how they can easily remove those numbers and so on. Uh, what I find interesting is, uh, what I find extremely interesting in respect to this stuff is, his Co-worker, uh, police lady, this, this is a younger guy. This guy, 
this guy probably about like I say about like I don't know like maybe 45 years old or something like that um, I don't think he's older than that uh, married he was involved in MK Ultra um, wife what else can I tell you and I think they did live inside of the apartment building if I properly recall this stuff um, the female police officer stated me uh, however that I will that I must not put this uh, it must be done like this that it's not visible and so on and so forth uh, but that I will give her uh, one when she will require from me uh, a clean picture of the license number and that kind of stuff because obviously they had in plan to uh, you know whatever they already arranged with the courts with uh, with their authorities to that's the kind of stuff, basically, ladies and gentlemen, that I see, however, as a schizophrenia. <laughs> because you're fucking demonstrating me what is known as arranged ahead, courts, justice system, and you think you're just going to be pushing this down my throat and I'm going to be saying to you, yes, yes, yes. It doesn't work here like this. Uh... Like I said at the beginning of this video, I have the reasons why those two days, even if it's really difficult that I get little sleep as much as I get, still I function. I try to do my best to do this stuff. Uh, and especially because the time is so valuable, so precious, and you go out and you get assaulted like this, you get this kind of issues wherever the hell you go. Uh, they are doing everything possible to what they insist it will be like a chain of events like this they're gonna set me up with the stuff like this and they're gonna get proof about some guy video recording people and so on like this individual for instance that i listed today on the website it's like a total criminal dude that ran the whole fucking route all the way to uh, almost shantianay this was his route, basically, of violence when he would enforce the violence, the security officer, with, with also assistance of the police and so on. Come on, man. Uh, would you recognize the motherfucker that would be involved in a torture during MKUltra, a most severe torture, death threats, numerous death threats, uh, severe sleep deprivation, all kinds of stuff? Your pal from hell that is posing over there as a security officer at the local store, and uh, what now? Uh, you, you understand me what I'm saying? So you pull the camera out, and even you pull the camera out in front of the store. Uh, he does have an attitude and a problem with you. Uh, looking for any kind of excuse for anything that would give them basically to intervene, whichever way they would be like. Uh, probably would be convenient because they think they are still in a position to negotiate or something, whatever. Or maybe it's somebody else that they need to negotiate with them. I have no fucking idea what they are up to. But based on my views, uh, I'm unwilling to defer from what I stated at the beginning of the video. You know, and what I said at the beginning of the video is it would be hard to go to the police station and beat somebody up to the fuck. You remember when I stated this to you at the beginning of the video, that I have a problem just seeing you anywhere? I do. It is true. I do have a, I have a serious, serious problem. Uh, serious problem seeing you actually anywhere in the public. I'll be really, really honest with you. You are a problematic for me just to see you anywhere in the public. Uh, I am extremely unhappy about it. I can't tell you how much I wait for this two days of what I need to have this 
two days of work. It's tough when you don't get sleep. It's tough when you have health problems like I have. Uh, it's not easy. And what you're going to hear in continuation here. Actually, I did not do the whole thing because I know that this is a provocation. But let me do the whole thing. According to MK Ultra, it's going to be parked here and it's going to be a police that will come after you. Yeah, they, they, they. So I, I walked the opposite way. I, I went my way. And I'm doing some more video recording here. Oh, and I see more of these vehicles. You remember when I told you there was more of these vehicles? These vehicles all of a sudden appeared out of everywhere. And I should have rec video recorded them, but I did. You know, there is more of these vehicles. Yeah, I don't have uh, I don't have a time to play with this stuff. Uh, so guess what's going to happen tonight? <sighs> this individual was involved in MK Ultra and stated. It's going to be a witches who's going to give him something to eat. So he will beat his drunkness and then he will come after me. So guess what's going to happen tonight? Uh, he also claimed he's drunk. He's going to be drunk, but the waitress is going to give him uh, food. And with his friend, that he's going to, that he's going to catch up with me on a hiking trail for which he knows where I walk and this and that. These kids, if you want to call them, they intimidated me during MK Ultra with assistance of the police for several years along the entire hiking trail between Shmarieta, which is further up in direction in which I had at first, and all the way to what is Druzhinska Vaz. Uh, towards when you already come out of this Shmarieshka uh, to Plitsa and you turned where the restaurant is of Domen, basically. It's just like a big portion of the road. They, they would like wait for me. They would drive with the car. They would stop with the car and come out when the police would be walking me back and forth. This is the game we are talking about. You know? So guess what's happening tonight? Why I am not so happy that I again have changed day for night and night for a day. Uh, I managed to gain a few extra pounds, and yesterday when I invested, no, I'm not going to say, but definitely calories, the energy to get this complaint of mine finished, this is just like perfect. This is perfect. Why all of a sudden so silent? I mean, 
I can't believe my neighbor, this was from the neighbor from the burger here, disappeared so silently today. I mean, I couldn't. Uh, the only thing I heard was room, bike, and that was it. So silently. You have no fucking idea how loud, loud he was making himself. Neighbor, uh, a boyfriend from a young lady burger, uh, supposedly is also a karate guy and he was displaying how good he can jump on a terrace, climb the terrace and that kind of stuff during MK Ultra. That he is, uh, uh, according to his father-in-law now, that would be Alish Berger. Uh, he is a real, real uh, bodybuilder. I mean, he's like totally, like completely ripped. I mean, it's only a muscle, a martial art expert. Boy, I'm getting only the best of the nice young young people around me together. Uh, but really for all the wrong reasons. But you know something. They pressed down on me. They were pushing down on me. The police officer I demonstrated you what that looked like. Uh, insisted and fucking insisted on how uh, you must not, uh, you know, how difficult it is to put this license numbers and this and that to have them camouflage and this and that. Um, that I, under no circumstances, should uh, put him on the internet. Uh, he, however, was already negotiating for another job. They already, apparently, based on what I recall, they got him another job. He claimed that, fuck that, if I work there as a security officer in a public place and this and that, and what's going to happen is... Uh, it's enough that you tell the time and this and that. Uh, the day, and you think the people are not going to know who the fuck I am when you put this stuff on a uh, on the internet, you know, in that sense. Oh, and so a police officer came to a conclusion that it would be like in the best interest that that none of this stuff would just go to the internet and so on. Uh, they demonstrated me, they, they tutored me several techniques on how the license plates can be, which it came to my brain today when I was doing this stuff, uh, how I have to camouflage no matter what, they, they brainwash me. He also claimed me he's got friends and there are programs that can be used, digital platforms that they can use to decode the uh, the license plates, even if they are camouflage and so on. Then he will have several friends evaluating my work to see if I care about him and that kind of shit. Why the fuck would I care about you, pal? I mean, I honestly I don't understand because he did this for me. If you understand me, what I'm saying, then it gets even better. Then they push down my throat, all kinds of issues. Uh, issues such as uh, these people were involved in other issues as well. There was other issues also. Uh, it also was something to do with the sexual stuff, that kind of stuff. Uh, it doesn't sound like a bike. Whatever. <laughs> um, and started to blow in my soul that they figure out that how this can cause a problem in a family. Uh, they related, in other words, they related themselves to me like they are my friends, like they care about me. Uh, and Slovenian police, the Novel Master Police Department, Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital, these politicians from Slovenia started to blow on my soul during MK Ultra, on my tortured soul during MK Ultra, that 
these are the people that will, they will do it for you. They will do it for you, and we're going to see how you're going to treat them. And basically, you're going to camouflage these numbers really good and that kind of stuff. Uh, and it got even better. Uh, this kind of stuff, the way I see it, uh, could be deeply misused because the watches that arrive, the items that arrive through the postal services, you have no idea how much damage that shit did to me, mentally, emotionally. Even that they brainwash me how they are going to fuck me, uh, which they have afterwards, just like in this case, interpreted as a form of assistance, as a form of help to you. Uh, and if then you would see stuff like this, uh, not in a way we see it, you would see this in a different way, that would then demonstrate how much you really care about us. And then you went to the area of suicides, uh, accidents, and all kinds of stuff. And based on you, will also how you will be seen as. And I think that this goes very well along with the British royals, with the Joe Biden, American politicians, basically. I'm pretty sure that it goes extremely well with the Western Hemisphere that contributed to these problems and are going to be basically judging me based on uh, maybe even like uh, how much I did for you, how much I helped you out, and in the end, Mr. Elon Musk, right? It was Elon Musk who all the time was into this stuff. How much he helped me, and then what's going to happen to him, and this and that. Uh, it's going to depend on you. <laughs> I only, I'm 52, and I almost 51 years. Uh, and trust me, I wasn't into this. I did not enjoy this stuff. But this is how disgusting it gets. And it didn't stop there. Uh, they convinced my mama it's in her best interest to do this stuff. My father, my sister, my fucking everybody around me that it's in the best interest for me basically to be damaged, hurt, damaged as much as possible and have brain somehow distorted, fucked up in a way so that I would see how uh, they are going to see how I am going to give them back basically, for their goodness because this is fucking goodness. This is a fucking absolute evil, for one thing. There is no nice here. There is such thing as honest, whoever was honest. But a nice is what fucked the whole world up. Because people somehow settled for the nice instead of demanding the truth. And when this stuff piles up atop of one another and he grows into the Mount Everest, he gets into the really bad conflicts and stuff. It's a delusion. It's a stuff that at people's will, at people's choice, at people's needs for more money, for more corruption, for more for more and more and more and more and more and more their needs for more have replaced basically the basic needs of the people just to stay alive basically this is why we are in this shit is what i'm trying to that's how i'm going to end this video with. that's what i wanted to make myself clear about how i see these things how all this shit is fall into place, uh, how they are trying to present uh, their reality, basically extort with their reality, uh, and more than anything, consume my time, for fuck's sake, I have to go to the doctor, I have to go to the fucking physician to check my liver, my fucking kidney, see what the fuck is going on with the cancer, see what the fuck is going on with my left foot, see what the fuck is going on with my tool, fix this fucking problem, don't you fucking understand that?
you motherfuckers. That's why they go to the police station. Like I said, you wouldn't go either. If you got this kind of priorities and have a police shitting you all over around you, inside and outside of the house, you wouldn't want to go and meet the police either. Giving a chance, a second chance to the police like this would be the worst mistake I possibly could do in my life. Because this is not about the scandal or scandals, this is about the genocide. You understand the word genocide? Genocide is genocide. This one equal to 50 genocides, not 10, as Prince Charles have stated. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.